There are three ways to build any EDH deck, strong, fun, and mean. Let's talk about Alela, Artful Provocateur, and the strong, fun, and mean ways to build her. The video starts right now. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel are Magic. I am Joel. We're going to talk about Alela three ways today, but first, if you like the video by the end of it, consider subscribing. Let's just jump right into it. Alela Artful Provocateur. One black, one blue, one white, one other for a legendary fairy warlock. Okay, flying, death touch, lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus oh. Whenever you cast an artifact or an enchantment, create a one one blue fairy creature token with flying. Strong, fun, mean. Let's jump into it. For strong, I really want to take advantage of that artifact or enchantment entering the battlefield ability on Alela. Dire Undercurrents is an enchantment, so it's going to trigger Alela's ability, and whenever a blue creature comes into play under your control, you may have target player yourself draw a card. The same can be said of black creatures, you can have a target player discard a card, but it's pretty excellent to create an enchantress kind of cantrip every single time that Alela's ability triggers and a fairy comes into play. Here's one, Coastal Piracy, two blue and two other for whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to an opponent, you can draw a card. We're going to be creating a lot of 1-1 flyers that are going to be very expendable, 2-1 flyers if Alela's on the battlefield. Now, if you just swing with a bunch of these creatures, obviously some of them are going to get through and you're drawing even more cards, keeping your hand full so you can keep casting artifacts and enchantments to keep creating fairies. With Kindred Discovery, it's two blue and three other for another enchantment, so yet again it's going to trigger Alela's ability when it gets played. But, you get to choose a creature type, Fairy in this entrance, instance, and whenever an entrance of a fairy happens, you get to draw a card. You can kind of start to see a pattern here. There's lots of cards that give this sort of an Enchantress sub-theme that I think is very strong, and it'll just keep your hand filled the entire game. How about Cathar's Crusade? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. So now not only are we creating two one fairies with flying every time an enchantment or artifact enters, but now we're going to be giving each of those fairies that already existed a plus one plus one counter and our flyers just keep getting bigger and bigger. Next up, I would play a s Anointed Procession. This is just almost an auto-include in a strong deck that's going to be running a lot of token strategy, and this is just going to double the triggers on Alela each time. That's one of the strongest strategies to build Alela around, and these are the kinds of cards that you would want to be running, so you're number one triggering her ability, and number two taking advantage of what she creates. The fun way that I would build Alela, you can see Fairy Tribal. There are a lot of cool tricks with Fairy Tribal, a lot of tribal instants and sorceries that you can run, and a lot of good tribal cards. Spell Stutter Sprites got flash, and when it comes into play, just counter target spell with converted mana cost X or less, where X is the number of fairies you control. This is a great late game card. You're countering their biggest thing, whatever they're casting. Let's get six or more fairies onto the battlefield, and we're counting countering anything six CMC or less. Scion of Una. How about further growth of our fairies, plus give all of our fairies, which includes our general, Shroud. All right, they can't target the Scion of Una or any of our fairy friends, plus all of our fairies are just going to be getting bigger. With your fairy, general, and Scion of Una on the battlefield, all of your fairies are 3-2. Another note is that Scion of Una can be played at instant speed, so if anybody goes to target your general, whoops, in response, Scion of Una, your spell fizzles, okay? Fairy Trickery is one of those tribal instants I was talking about. Counter target non-fairy spell, and if it's countered this way, remove it from the game. Let's just exile that spell, how about it? We don't want to see it ever again, thank you. Etchings of the Chosen. Etchings of the Chosen was one for me I almost had in my strong pile, but I moved it to my fun pile because it really takes advantage of the tribal sub-theme and is just a great card for this deck pretty much across the board. When it enters, choose a creature type, fairies. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one plus one, and you can pay one to sack one of your one ones that you're creating a ton anyway to give your general, for instance, indestructible until end of turn. Metallic Mimic. Now, obviously, this is a choice that's going to go pretty strongly into any 
uh, tribal themed EDH deck. However, with Metallic Mimic, I thought it was worth noting this card in particular for this deck in particular because it is an artifact itself, so it triggers Alayla's ability. Those are my choices for the strong and fun ways to build Alayla. Let's look at the mean way. For the mean way, we're going stacks. Enchantments and artifacts can lead to such a strong stacks strategy. With cards like Ghostly Prison, Winter Orb, things like this. Ghostly Prison, creatures you control, creatures can't attack you unless they're paying two for each creature attacking you. Just creating a pillow fort around yourself. Here's a redundancy of that card. Well known, propaganda. Each creature cannot attack you unless its controller pays two for that creature. Let's stack this stuff up. How about Arcane Laboratory? Each player can't play more than one spell each turn. We get something like Anointed Procession onto the battlefield. We play Arcane Laboratory. We're creating one ones every turn. We're just flying over with our army. You want to time the stacks cards as they go down. Uh, onto the battlefield because you want to make sure that you are ahead before you start putting that pillow fort up and creating this like impenetrable moat of enchantments around it. Rising Waters, here's another one. You want to have control of the board and then we're going to say, all right, nobody's lands untap. You get to choose one land at the beginning of each turn to untap. If you're filling your deck with low cost 0, 1, 2 CMC artifacts that you can just trigger a Layla over and over and over, this is the kind of card that's going to give you the game because you need one or two mana to continue playing things, maybe cantrip cards back into your hand as you're playing artifacts and enchantments and just creating 2-1 flyers that can bust them up in the air. Here's a creature version of a very expensive card moat, but this is Magus of the Moat. Creatures with flying can't attack, period. Let's take advantage of the fact that all of our creatures that are being created by our general are flying creatures, okay? We're not gonna let, let anything on the battlefield attack. Look, this is a mean way to build this deck. Stacks decks are so feels bad sometimes, but it can be a very strong strategy. And honestly, if you're, you're in the driver's seat, it can be fun too. That does it for Alayla three ways. Let me know the way ways that you have built your Alayla deck, and let me know if there's a fun strategy that we could have built. If you like the series, consider hitting that like button down there, that'll let me know that I should make some more of these. If there's a commander that you want me to create a three ways for, please let- <laughs> that sounds weird, but if you want me to, let me know in the comments down below which general you want me to present three ways, and we'll get it going. If you want to support us, we got a Patreon links down in the description. If you want to hang out with streaming most Tuesday and Thursday evenings over on Twitch, we'll catch you later.